Hello, welcome to Experimentation Station, a special Earth Day edition. I'm Jill Emerson, Water Quality Coordinator here at Green Mountain, and I'm going to walk you through a quick little Earth Day experiment that you can set up that does take multiple days to run, um, but the setup here is pretty easy. So this is an uh, experiment ultimately that is going to demonstrate what happens um, with acidification of our oceans. So here we have our two simulated ocean environments. One is just plain old tap water, and the other one is actually vinegar. So we're creating an, acidic, an overly acidic environment, but an acidic environment that now we are going to place two identical seashells in, one in each environment. All right. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit for a few days. Um, so we're gonna do some time lapse and we're gonna see how over time the vinegar is going to change the structural integrity of this shell. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, so once you've added your seashell in, after a few minutes, what you should see is a bubbling start to take place. So what's happening here is that the vinegar is dissolving the calcium carbonate of the seashell. So the bubbles that you see form there are actually carbon dioxide that's being released. Um, so this is a chemical reaction between calcium carbonate and the acetic acid in the vinegar. So this bubbling will continue um, for a day or maybe two, and we're going to keep refreshing the vinegar so that we keep seeing that reaction happening um, over the duration of the experiment. Okay, so now what I've done is I've just given the seashell on the right a little bit more vinegar. And you can see we already have the reaction starting back up and that seashell has only been in there for a few minutes again. If you're doing this experiment at home, you may find that you will need to refresh the vinegar in your seashell to get the reaction to start um, working again. Those bubbles are CO2 that you see that's um, showing the reaction in progress. Um, depending on the size of your she uh, seashell and, and how... Um, strong it is, how thick it is. This may take a few days before you can see um, holes in it. Um, smaller, more fragile seashells, you should probably see within a day or two after adding them into the vinegar, um, the seashell uh, should have a hole in it. So we're gonna let this sit for another, I don't know, maybe another day or two, um, and then check back in and see how much uh, the shell has degraded. Here on a slightly different angle, you might get to see um, the degradation of the shell a little bit clearer here. You can see there's a lot of broken off shell debris in the vinegar solution. I was as careful as could be trying to get the shell out of the beaker. It did break a little bit because it is so fragile right now. Let's move these out of the way, Let's see if we can get a close up of this. Yeah, so you can see again our control is still pretty solid here. It's just like any seashell that you would pick up and expect to find on the beach. But this guy here has really got a hole punched into him. And, and as I can touch it, I can feel it starting to bend under my fingers in places. And as you can see here, I broke off a little piece of it too, right there. So this experiment was a really nice way to showcase one of the many ways that ocean acidification is going to play a huge problem in the environment. Um, since the past 200 years, uh, since we've had the Industrial Revolution, we've actually seen the pH of the ocean decrease or become more acidic by about 30%. The ocean absorbs about 30% of the CO2 that is produced. So if you think about it, the more CO2 or the more industry, the more, more coal burning industry that we have, the more pollutants in the environment, 30% of that is going to end up in the absorbed into the oceans. This is going to have a huge effect on many different organisms. Anything that is a calcifying organism, like our little friend, friends who live in the seashells, coral reefs, um, other organisms that are not um, calcifying organisms, but maybe depend on them for part of their food chain are going to be affected. And it's going to just keep going up until it affects humanity as well. Over 2 billion people receive their food from some part of the ocean and millions of dollars worth of industry globally is from the ocean. So while currently our oceans are not as acidic as our vinegar solution that we put our seashell in, this does show that even just small changes in the pH, having it go more acidic, is really going to start affecting 
are calcifying organisms. So this is a great experiment to do at home if you get a couple of seashells. You could also dilute down your vinegar to make it slightly less um, acidic and then see how long does it take a seashell to degrade in that. You could also, if you have some basic solutions, go ahead and see what happens when you throw it in a basic solution and do you, what results do you get. Um, happy Earth Day, everyone. This is the 50th year of Earth Day. Um, so it's a, it's a wonderful celebration. Hopefully you're able to get out and do something good for the planet. And if you liked uh, this video, let us know. If you did this experiment, please let us know at info at gmcg.org. And if you have any recommendations for future videos, please write to us and let us know. Happy Earth Day. Drop the mic. Boom. There we go.